Good morning. It is... What day is it? It's Saturday. <laughs> Why did it take me so long to figure out? Um, we, like all this week, it's been... The heat index has been over 100 and there's been heat advisories out and stuff. So I have not made progress on the garden except for one thing that I did the other morning. And because there's been heat advisories and it's been so freaking hot, like I can't go outside obviously, um, I have been drinking my first cup of coffee outside and like walking up and down the driveway around the yard, just, you know, looking around, just being outside. Um, oh, but yeah, yesterday I transplanted 10 cannas. So I'm very excited about that. And cannas are super easy to transplant because they are a, they grow in their rhizomes. So rhizomes are those little knotty looking roots that grow um, horizontally. Uh, so they spread very quickly and it's very quickly for them to transplant. I mean, yeah, transplant, like re-root themselves. Matter of fact, one of them, sorry there's a lot of jump cuts. I'm filming on my phone and for whatever reason the video transfer is crap so I'm trying to keep the clips to under 30 seconds you didn't ask okay here's the latest um, I transplanted some cannas here you can see that that one back there already bloomed uh oh um, and then there's also a poke up against the fence I'm leaving it because I have to move it but yeah so good no so far so good <laughs> I shouldn't record before I've had caffeine in the morning um, here is what the garden patch looks like as you can see I need to kill grass again. Um, it's been too hot for me to plant the clover. So it got sun, it got dew, and it's springing back to life, unfortunately. But that's okay. I'll just kill it again. I need to mow, but it's gonna be too hot. I think I'm gonna have to mow tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna put this Amazon stuff inside. Good morning and happy Monday. Um, I have a very, very busy work week, um, however, I wanted to share with you guys what I just made. So I saw homemade Hot Pockets on Pinterest and I attempted to make them for the first time. They didn't work so well. And I tried to do it in the air fryer too. Um, they look good and I'm sure they're gonna taste good, but they oozed out even though I tried to seal them and stuff. But yeah, air fryer. Okay, let's try. Oh, I did um, cheddar and then fake pepperoni from Field Roast. Hmm, I should have put more cheddar. <laughs> it's good though. It does have a good flavor. It just needs more cheese. Okay. I have a very large meeting that I have to get back to. I'll chat with you guys again soon. So Rosie and I are going on a road trip and I realized that when it comes to myself, I'm an extremely light packer. When it comes to my dog, I'm meal prepping for my dog. She also has her own suitcase. <laughs>
Nice. Oh, yeah. Good morning, everybody. Um, happy, what day is today? Sunday, happy Sunday. I'm at my grandma's. Uh, Rosie and I drove up yesterday morning. We left my house like around 5 a.m. Yeah, just visiting. Uh, my grandma's gonna be in town. Uh, she normally lives with my aunt in Texas, uh, but her house and everything is still here. My family is here. Um, oh, I'm in Kentucky. Um, so, coming to visit and see everybody. And my birthday's on Tuesday. So, it's also nice that I get to see people before my birthday. I love my birthday. I just wanna eat my favorite foods for my birthday and see people that I care about. So, that's what's happening. I'm very lucky. Um, I made a cup of coffee, I made vanilla latte, and my cousin, his fiance, are gonna come pick me up in a few minutes so we can go to an actual coffee shop. But you know, if I don't have coffee when I first wake up, like just a little something something, then I feel really run down. So I'm just having one. We are supposed to have a cookout later. So that'll be exciting. Um, I think after the coffee shop, I'm gonna run to the store with my cousins, and then we also have to go to the liquor barn. That's how you know we're in the country. Liquor barn, not liquor store, <laughs> liquor barn. Um, yeah, we're gonna go there, and I'm gonna pick up tequila so I can make people some jalapeno margaritas. I don't know how many people are gonna be here, um, but my dad did call all of my cousins and told them to make sure that if anyone is feeling under the weather or has been around anyone under the weather to please not come over today for me. So that was really sweet. Um, okay. Uh, sorry that I haven't uploaded in a while, but you know, enjoying family time, doing things around the house and stuff. Uh, oh, okay, maybe I'll, I'll show you guys some of the pictures of me when I was little behind me. Okay, let's do that. Um, I am adorable. <laughs> Where's another one? Oh, here's another one. Oh, the glare. That's my brother. You guys have seen him in another vlog, but man, those butterfly clips. Freaking 90s kid right here, my butterfly clips. And then I think I was in high school in this picture, I think. Or maybe this I was in high school. Oh, the glare. But yeah, I feel like I do not look the same. I used to wear makeup and stuff. Oh, I used to do gymnastics. That's hilarious. Look at the little baby. You've been liking seeing all your cousins, huh? You love people. And she met a puppy dog named Champ last night. They just sniffed for a couple seconds and then I brought her back inside because she looked like she was a little bit nervous. Why are you so afraid of puppies, honey? But you love humans. <laughs> oh, this is her new toy. So every time we go on a road trip, I give her a new toy. And this one, its name was Rosie the Rhino. Huh? Oh no, I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging. No, you're good. You like 
Sit. Spera. This is not her normal setup, but actually, I'm gonna put it right here. Ah, uh -uh, spera. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm gonna pour my coffee. Good girl, Rosie. I can't believe it. My food resource guarding dog now waits to eat. I'm so proud of her. Keep on the path, stay safe, and no matter what, drive side by side. Won't go wrong. God yeah. bless y'all. Hey, Roz. Were you a good girl while I was gone? Do you want a cookie? You want a cookie? Good girl. Is that a good cookie? You want another one, chunky butt? That was your first time staying away from me for that long by yourself. I'm so proud of you. You don't look like you're ready to play with a ball. You look like you're ready to take a nap. You ready, Rose? You ready? Oh, now you're ready. Okay. Oh! Did your knee give out? What happened, honey? You got it! She's got all of her toes. All right, here is what is going to one day be the bird feeding station. Um, I showed you guys when I did the little outline thing around the well. It obviously does not look that good right now. So got to fix that up, get rid of the anthill, get more mulch, um, add another bird feeder, bird baths, and today, we are going to transform the well into a mushroom. And if you're thinking to yourself, Alex, I don't think that's gonna look very good. What's on my face? Don't know what that was. Um, you might be right, but just, you know what? I was gonna say withhold commentary, but you, let me have it. Roast me, roast me if this turns out terrible. All right. Yeah. You're gonna roast me, that's okay. <laughs> you know what? It was a great idea and it was just executed so poorly. It was executed so poorly and that's on me, okay. Well, now I gotta figure out how to fix that. Hello. 
I am in the middle of putting layers in my hair and I realized I have not published a video in a very long time. I've taken clips here and there, so this is another clip. Um, anyway, you are propped up on my bathroom counter so that I look crazy. Okay. All right. Uh, that didn't look any better. Okay. Um, so the way that I'm going to put layers in my hair today is different than I normally do. Normally I go through and I have like a reference section. I cut it to the length that I want. And then I like partition everything out and cut my layers and then hold it perpendicular to my head and cut straight up. So when it falls, it's like beautifully layered. Great. Okay. Done that way for years. Um, this time I am going to try a little bit more of like a heavily chopped layer situation. So I'm gonna do a high ponytail and then cut everything straight across my high ponytail so when it falls, I still have layers, but instead of them being like really soft and kind of hard to distinguish, they're gonna be a little bit more choppy. So as my hair grows long, because right now, I don't know if you guys remember from my past vlogs, but my hair used to be like chin length. So it's grown a couple of inches and I'm gonna continue to grow it until, well, here's my collarbone. This angle is like so weird. So here's my collarbone. I would like my hair to be down here for now. So hold on, what's this difference? I don't know, less than a dollar bill. I got like four or five inches to go. This is way too much. Oh. While you're here, new tattoo. I think, oh, oh, that's the faucet handle. I think I need to fix the color settings on this phone too because I look pink yet also desaturated still. Okay, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I have not been to any sort of cosmetology or esthetician school. I I was gonna say I've never cut anyone else's hair, that's a lie. I have never cut anyone else's hair professionally. I've never been paid for it. I've never been trained for it. This is not at all what you're supposed to be doing. This is just, this is just what I'm doing. Trying something new. I have to brush my hair because when it's wet, it gets wavy, especially if I put a uh, leave-in conditioner in it, which I did. So I'm gonna try and brush it out, put it in a ponytail and cut it. Me brushing it is not really helping it straighten out. That's okay. Alrighty, I don't feel good about this. There's something off about this because if I cut here, it's not gonna touch any of these layers. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> I think, <laughs> first of all, this is gonna be my thumbnail. Mission aborted. birthday um, she has a couple of toys in a little box that we are gonna let her open up and got her a birthday llama it's one of the Kong toys because uh, whenever she doesn't get a Kong toy she just tears through them in like a couple of minutes and then we got her a little doggy thing uh, look at wow this is so bumped why am I trying to vlog right now and then we also got her a little cupcake. Can't really see it in there, but it's a little happy birthday cupcake. And they put a candle in there so we can light the candle. Um, I don't think we're gonna light the candle. We might just put the candle in the cupcake, take pictures, but not actually light it because I feel like that's not a good idea with a puppy. Okay. And then uh, she's gonna open up her own presents in a little box. She loves destroying cardboard boxes, so this is going to be like 
peak happiness for her. She's gonna rip open a box and there's gonna be toys in it. <laughs> It is October 26th. I've been sick for days. Not fully a week yet. On Saturday it'll be a week. Today's Thursday. <clears throat> I feel awful. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This morning I got in the shower to like see if the steam would help my congestion and stuff. And it did. <clears throat> my shower was great. However, in the shower... I cried because I, like, I'm not upset about being sick. I'm upset that I have now been sick multiple times this year. And it's just my new reality. And I don't like, I don't like that. How do I word this? I don't like that I have a body that gets sick easily. When I... I'm used to having a body that didn't get sick. Anyway, um, I have to keep my nose plugged like this because it's just running like a faucet and I'm not trying to wipe my nose off my face. So um, I don't feel very good. I'm outside to get some fresh air and some sun. Being in the sun actually makes me feel better. but. I'm going to end this clip here because, like, how can you guys take me seriously when I look like this? And also, you don't want to see me like this. So, um, just checking in. I really need to edit the vlog that I have not uploaded for, like, a month. <sighs> okay.